Hey everyone, thank you so much for uh, taking a moment to watch this video. My name is Mark and welcome to my channel. So this is not going to be a uh, vinyl review. Uh, this is going to be a book review. Um, I do have several Elvis books. Uh, I don't have, uh, a, I, I do have some FTE books and I would tell you they do a uh, amazing job with, with their releases. Um, and uh, this one is no exception. Uh, I just got this uh, just this past week uh, from a good friend of mine. Um, and it is Elvis Presley, Welcome Home, 1960. Um, I got it uh, earlier in the week. And then I didn't get a chance to really sit down and look at it until yesterday. And it is nothing short of phenomenal. Um, it has 268 pages in it. Um, this one is long since deleted. Um, Whenever I do see it online anywhere, it's 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 sold out. Um, and if you find it on eBay, it usually goes for a pretty decent uh, chunk of change. But like I said, I, I have a good friend that I met in the Elvis community uh, through this channel and through Facebook, and uh, he and I uh, talk uh, quite often, you know, through through text. And um, I found out that he had. I just happened to ask him if he had any FTD books, and he said he did. And he sent me showed me pictures of what he had, and this was one of them. So I jumped on it. So um, what I'm going to do is flip the camera around. I'm not going to show you the whole book, uh, but I will show you uh, kind of the gist of what's in it. Um, it also does come with a, as all of these do, I believe, it has a, a bonus, like a CD. Um, and this is uh, Elvis's back, but I don't know the significance of it. It's like a mono release. Usually they do something special on these, but it's the full uh, Elvis's back release because this was the first album he recorded upon returning home um, from Memphis. So I am going to uh, pause this video, uh, turn the camera around, and uh, show you um, a little bit of the book, um, some of the highlights, some of the cool pictures. Great photography in this. Um, it's really, really good. Um, so again, I'm not going to go through the whole book because um, if you can find it and you want to get it, I don't want to spoil it. So bear with me. Give me a moment. Be right back. All right, welcome back. <clears throat> so this is one of the first few pages. Um, what's really cool is it gives the date on each page. This is McGuire Air Force Base near Fort Dix, New Jersey, uh, which actually isn't too, too far from, from where I am. It's a little bit of a hike, but um, it was snowy that day. Um, and there is Elvis uh, returning home in, in the midst of a blizzard. Um, that's the same same picture, some newspaper clippings. Elvis Holmes stands by rock and roll. Um, of course, Elvis with some of his fans. Um, so really cool there. Um, Elvis with another fan. Elvis with yet another fan sitting on his, I guess, sitting on his lap. Uh, the ladies sure did, sure were uh, kind of drawn into Elvis. Some more pictures. Um, that is, uh, and I've actually known this for a long time, that is Tina Louise. Tina Louise was on Gilligan's Island as Ginger, the redheaded uh, Hollywood star, but here she is with Elvis. Uh, she looks almost like she's a brunette here, but um, I, have, I had actually seen this picture when I was just a young lad. I remember seeing this picture in a magazine, so pretty cool there. Uh, pretty cool shot of Elvis. Like I said, the photography in this, and there's quotes and... Um, um, quotes of Elvis and a lot, a lot of what's great about all the FTD products, whether it's an album, uh, CD, or a book, there's always tons of information about this time period, the recording, everything. And there's his uh, press conference. Just the photography in this is just absolutely, absolutely stunning. And they're they're on it's on pretty heavy, like a stock heavy. Heavy paper, like I said, just uh, gives you like insight. Like I said, dates, things of that nature. Elvis meeting with more of his fans, getting autographs. Guess guys that he served with. So just there's him on uh, a railroad. Saturday, March fifth. So there's Washington D.C. to Memphis. Like I said, just a lot of cool text and things like that to kind of go by. So I'm going to kind of skip ahead here. Uh, bear with me here. There's him aboard an 
quiet moment. So, so just give me a second. There's Parker looking at his uh, meal ticket there. Hate to say that, but that's really, I mean, Parker promoted him well, I will tell you that. Get off the train and him at the train station. I'm kind of skipping through a little bit just for sake of time. I'll just leave in there. Okay, so we'll just go. There's here's him at Graceland. Of course, we've all seen these pictures before the guitar shaped cake. There's a video of it. So this is, I believe, March 8th, 1960, I believe. That's a, that's a picture many of you have seen as well. Elvis and, which would later become Vernon Presley's, uh, Vernon Presley's uh, office. And there's uh, some more text. Like I said, just a lot of really, really interesting. I found like a lot of interesting uh, stuff in here. Cool picture. Pictures of Elvis being candid. It's the cover of that one album I showed you. Talked about how here's him posing in front of the Christmas tree that was still up when he left. That's what it talks about, how it was the last time he had seen it. Um, this, that was... My last Christmas at home, and then they kept it. I guess they kept it up for him. Pretty cool. Just kind of skipping ahead here. Um, there's him outside. There's one. Oh, there it is. I was going to say RCA gave him a, a huge TV. And uh, this is a quote he said Elvis was touched by the huge trophy from RCA Victor for having sold 50 million albums. This was March of 1960. He pointed with pride to the big, fancy $1,000 RCA Victor color TV set, a gift from RCA Victor, and quipped, nice of them to give it to me, but it's going to cost me $900 in taxes to keep it. So there's him with the, the TV, with the colonel. And that was state-of-the-art, man. And that, that, that kind of TV stuck around for many, many years. I had a TV similar. This is a story. This happened, um, what was the date on this? March... March 10, 1960, somebody had got, a couple guys had gotten in a car accident. So Elvis was pulling in on his motorcycle, I believe, saw him and brought him inside the gates of Graceland and tried to get him some help. So, very cool. And this talks about uh, some teenagers who skipped school to see Elvis. And, uh, let's see, this is, let's see, there's a picture. I don't see his hair like that very often, but... There's a couple of those teenagers that got to meet him. Elvis is going to Miami for TV show filming. That would have been the Frank Sinatra uh, TV special. Timex Presents. Now, I remember seeing in the book, and I hope I didn't pass it, but there's some pictures of him with a uh, pretty cool picture. With him, I think I don't think I, I think I'm coming up on it. Where he, these girls went up, snuck up to his hotel room, I think yeah, I think it's coming up. Here's him describing how he they cut his hair. Him just like I said, being candid, talking about you know his army his army time. Yeah, it's coming up. I can remember looking at it. So apparently, uh, some girls, uh, three or four young girls, snuck in, went up I think like a fire escape to see Elvis. Just the way they're looking at him, man. It's just like, man, you can tell, like, this guy was so, so sought after and so idolized. Little girl sitting on his lap. Uh, let's see. And the scene. Elvis. Elvis loved his fans, man. There's no doubt about that. Pretty cool. Here it is. Yes, yeah, so they had snuck up, and then yeah, look look at the look at the looks on their face, man. Like they're just looking at him, like oh man, this is Elvis. I I just think that is the coolest picture, just the way they're looking at him with his his eyes from afar.
So and then there he is, I guess, signing autographs. There's that talks about the Frank Sinatra show. So I'll, I'll skip to that and then I'll I'll end this video. Um, just want to give you guys just a rough idea of this book, just how great it is. It's just such a great book, man. This this actually, I gotta say, other than the uh, thirty or forty fifth anniversary of the Madison Square Garden book. This is number two with me. This this is just such a great book. Them uh, in rehearsals, him and Frank in rehearsals. Like crystal clear photography, just great, great photography. See all the cameras there, ABC TV. It was a big deal. The show got a lot of a uh, lot of a lot of big ratings. Elvis and Frank talk behind the scenes. This picture right here I've seen before. Again, when I was a, got all of the pop-ups. Uh, when I was a, just a little kid, I remember seeing that picture of Frank Sinatra and Elvis there. And there he is backstage with uh, another fan. This is March 26, 1960. More fans. I'll tell you what, man, Elvis, <laughs> Elvis was the man. Ooh. Cool shot there. More shots with Elvis and his fans. This this picture I've seen before too. Very cool. But uh, the majority of these pictures, no, I have never, I've never seen. And there is when is that rental tuxedo? That's when Elvis, I guess, got his tuxedo and and everything for fifty seven dollars and fifty cents for the Sinatra TV show. There's the check that Elvis would have wrote, I guess, like the carbon copy of that. I said, and that's the thing. That's the nice thing. Um, because there's a listing of, of the show and everything that was done, who appeared. There's Elvis' songs right there, Fame and Fortune Stuck on You. And then Elvis and Frank Sinatra doing a medley of Love Me Tender and Witchcraft. Frank and Nancy, Nancy Sinatra, you make me feel so old and young. It's nice to go traveling. These were just, just recently released on vinyl, I think through Memphis Mansion. Yeah, this is, man, really, really glad to have this, this book. Letters from Tom Parker, I guess what, uh, different, uh, i have to read through that sometime. What does it say? I think it's blurry. Please issue a refund check to all sorts of for the following. Bill's paid about Vernon Griffiths. So I'll let you guys read that. So it's kind of covered up. You can't really see it, but that's a cool shot. It's really cool. You've all seen this one. Him and Frank doing Love Me Tender and uh, Frank doing his song and Elvis doing Witchcraft Frank's song. So there's the TV Guide ad. Very cool. Again, another backstage picture. There's advertisements talking about it, I guess, on the side, maybe the TV Guide. TV Magazine. And then, of course, there's Studio B. Getting ready to record Elvis is Back legendary and a lot of this is just talking about the songs there's not a whole lot of pictures here so yeah so um that's about it of course there's talking there's some of the uh different singles that came out of it so I'll just skip through again a lot of it's just text but really cool stuff so like i said there's Picture with again Elvis and his fans, and then some of the releases, some overseas releases. It looks like so. Yeah, and then there's the CD. So yeah, very cool. All right, we are back. Yeah, I had somebody uh, just yesterday, or maybe it was even earlier today, ask me if I would do a review on this one and the other book I got, which was Elvis in L.A., which was uh, based uh, mostly on the 1974 May of '74. 
concert that he did at the LA Forum. Um, and then, uh, so yeah, just wanted to do uh, a review on this. Yeah, if you can somehow get a copy of this at a fairly decent price, pick it up. It is spectacular. Um, I also want to talk about uh, my last video. I showed you some of my, my vinyl collection. Um, and what was cool on this one, uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful copy. Um, don't know if it was ever even played, but there was something, there was a sticker on the back. And back in the day, uh, when I would go to Woolco and Woolworth, the companies that aren't around anymore, they usually had a pretty decent size, uh, like a square where you could pick up records and um, eight tracks, and things like that. But they didn't have, because you had double albums and, you know, some albums that were newer than others, you didn't have prices. They didn't put prices individually on these. They would have letters on it. So you would match the letter. They had, a, they had a big chart that was hanging from the ceiling and it had a chart A through like, say, maybe R, or maybe not even that high, maybe N through N. And uh, you would match the corresponding letter like this. Let's see, it says Caldor. Which, by the way, that's why I wanted to mention this. It's a store that was around when I was younger, and it's uh, I think it's long been out of business. Um, but, yeah, I happened to see that. I thought I'd mention it. But you would match the letter to the letter that's on the chart, and that would give you the price. It seems like more work, but what do I know? So, um, yeah, so that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, again, I want to thank you for uh, taking the time to watch this video with me. I really do appreciate it. Um, so until next time, you all take care of yourselves. Be safe. We'll see you soon. Bye.